A blog is like an online journal or diary. Just as we make entries into our journal, we make entries onto our blog. These entries are known as posts. To start posting, first let's open the blog we have created using blogger.com. This time when we log in, our blog dashboard page will appear. Here we can see our blog title. When we have decided what we want to write about, we can click on Start Blogging below the blog title. A page opens showing the editing view of our post. As you can see, there is space for a title and for the body text of our post. I will type in the title here as About Me. This will be the title of our blog post. Now we have to write the actual post in the body text area. We can type in whatever information we wish to share on our blog. We can also copy paste text from any document that we have already created. For now, let's type in some sample text. Once we are done writing our post, we can view it by clicking on the preview button. The preview opens in a new tab. This is how our blog will actually appear to the readers. We can see the placement of our blog title, title of our post, and text in our post. To allow the readers to view our blog post, we have to publish the post. But before that, let us have a look at the post settings. We can make certain settings to our blog post using the post settings panel at the right hand side. As we can see, this panel has various links or options within it, such as labels, schedule, location, etc. Let us first add a label to our post. Now what are labels? Labels are nothing but words related to our post which will help the readers to find our blog on the internet very easily. For example, this post is about training teachers in ICT. So the labels can be teachers, ICT, training, education, etc. The next setting is Schedule. Using this, we can schedule the date and time at which we want the post to appear on a blog. This feature enables us to pre-plan our blog postings. For example, we may create four different posts, one for each Monday of the month, and schedule it to be posted one at a time. Thus, this is useful when we want to give information to our students in chunks and not all at once. This button allows us to add a location where the post was created. For example, we can write Mumbai, India and click on the search button. Notice the location of Mumbai appears on the map. Once you finish, click on Done. Under Options, we can allow or deny readers to comment on our blog posts. If we do not want anyone to comment on the post, then click on Don't Allow. And then click on Done. To view all the changes or settings that we have made to our blog, click on Preview. Now the post is ready. To make it available to the readers, click on Publish. 
To see the post on our blog, let us click on view. Remember, if we schedule a post to a later on date, then we will see the preview button instead of view. This is how our first post on our blog will look.